Hello and welcome. My name is Stan Pearson II, and this is no longer just your regular diversity presentation or keynote. This is the art of being you, or the just because I am doesn't mean. We're taking diversity to a whole new level, and I can't wait to be a part of it. Diversity is an action. It's what we do. Diversity. D is for direction. I is for integrity. V is for victory. E is for education. R is for rhythm. S is for silence. I is for information. T is for time. And why? You ask why diversity? Because if not you, then who? My name is Stan Pearson. Check out www.stanpearson.com. The art of being you. And you want to make sure that you're better today than you were yesterday. <laughs> uh, what's going on? I'll give you some elbows. <laughs> She's pretty good. Woo! 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 <laughs> Everyone say diversity. Say knows that fellas, you guys need to tune in right now. I don't know. You guys got any one got MySpace? With a show of hands, got MySpace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't even want to raise their hand. They don't want people to know they got MySpace because you can find out anything about someone with MySpace. You're like, you said you were single. <laughs> you are in a relationship. I can't believe it. I... Now, imagine that. Those experiences that you had where someone was expecting something, the expectation was one thing and then just came totally blind to something else. We have an opportunity to educate each other, different people. See, at that point, when I was younger, I'd want to like slap anybody. Anyone who said something stupid about diversity or like me being black, like, oh, why is your hair nappy? I'm like, why are you ugly? Why are you ugly? Why are you ugly? Why are you ugly? What kind of question is that? Google me, Wikipedia something. I'm sick of all these dumb questions. Ah. But diversity gives you an ultimate responsibility, like an ultimate opportunity to be better today than you were yesterday. And see, that doesn't matter if, let's say, you're if you're black on this campus, if you're white on this campus, if you're female on this campus, if you're from somewhere no one's ever been to on this campus, if you have curly hair, short hair, if you're bald head, whatever the case is, difference is okay. But see, we have that experience sometimes. I, I know like I knew some friends in college, like they were like the cool person or so they thought. So they had to like amp themselves up to be cool. Like uh, today I gotta be cool, you know. I'm, I'm an athlete or I gotta be cool. I'm a cheerleader, I gotta be cool. It's like, really? How about you be you? Hey, and that'll do it. People should like you for that. You know, one of those deals. All the time, it's on the corner of my mirror every time I wake up in the morning and check it out. And it says, I am better today than I was yesterday. And that's not too deep for new students. It's not. I'll be better today than I was yesterday in some way, shape, or form. Because that's important. And we will have our rough days. We'll have some rough morning. Who had a rough morning this morning? Raise your hand. Anyone have a rough morning? <laughs> you guys are like everyone. Jeez, they woke us up early. Let me describe. I had a day that was so bad. I don't know if you guys have ever like woken up late. You wake up late. Anyone ever bang their pinky toenail on something? <laughs> I would rather bite your ear off than hit my pinky toe. You know what I mean? If it means being the coolest guy on campus, what does that take? If you lose being you, then you lose. What does it take to be the coolest female on campus? But if it means losing you, then you lose. See, the idea is to be better today than you were yesterday. They say you're a product of the people that you hang around. You want to be a product of your most dominant thought. It is true. You are a product of the people that you hang around. You're a product of your most dominant thought. D. It's for direction. I is for integrity. V is for victory. 
because there's always victory in any defeat. E is for education, not just inside the classroom, but outside of the classroom. As we talk to each other, as we ask questions, as you learn about different people, education is vital. R is for rhythm. S is for silence because it is truly golden. The other I is for information because it's not always what you know. And knowledge is power, but more so it's what you do with knowledge that is power. T is for time because that's what we have. And that's it. Say why? Why? Because if not you, then who? If not you, then who? Being able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, all right, you, who am I gonna be today? Perfection is not necessarily an option because that's impossible. But one thing I say all the time, and it's on the corner of my mirror every time I wake up in the morning, I check it out, and it says, I am better today than I was yesterday. Everyone say ready. Ready. Everyone say ready. Ready. Now when I say ready, I mean really excited about dedicating yourself. Congratulations on the uh, orientation. Okay, I'm Katie Lowe Schneider, and I'm the Associate Dean of Students and the Director of First Year Programs at Hanover College. And we just had Stan Totten here to talk about I'm More Alike. And he did a fabulous job, did a great job of meeting 18-year-olds where they are. Um, didn't push them too far, but challenged them to think, and we're just really pleased we had him. Goodbye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I had a good time. A good presentation. I learned a lot. Um, well, my name is Eric Sharp. I'm from Liberty, Indiana. Um, I really thought it was a really cool program. It did a lot of cool psychological stuff and kept it positive, which I think is important for learning. It was a good program. My name is Sam Pollum. I'm from Danville, Kentucky. As an orientation here at Hanover College, sometimes it's difficult to keep um, my advisees involved and um, entertained um, while also giving them some information. But Stan made that real easy for us. Um, he was perfect for this job and we would love to have him back sometime. Sean Pearson, a uh, great public speaker, and great motivational speaker, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So thank you very much for the opportunity. All right, I'm Stephen Riley from Austin, Indiana, and uh, I had an excellent time tonight. Stan, you did a great job. I think uh, the message you have is just uh, a great one, and uh, I hope everyone heard it as loud as I did, so uh, and clear. Uh, so thank you. Oh, good. So good. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> he needs to come back. <laughs> They wouldn't lie to you. Ron, thank you. That was a very good uh, turnout, uh, a great response, and we keep on moving. The art of being you, you're next.